Okay. It is June 20, 2021. How are you doing in this world that has manifested? How are you doing knowing that this world, it is not going to get any better. It's only going to get worse. The manifestation of dumb, stupid, crazy, and unfortunately, violent, sick, twisted, that we're, we're just going to see more and more and more of it. How are you doing with this? I have to tell you, I am really having a hard time with it. Yeah, look, okay, I'm, I'm going to show you some crazy. Um, and that document, that transcript, you know, of the New World Order Insider, 1969, Dr. Day, who spoke to his medical students, pretty much outlining all of the changes that were going to come about in the United States, which I need to bring up right now. I will link below, so if you don't know anything about this, if you have not read it, then I recommend it highly because everything that this man said in 1969, Dr. Richard Day, who was, you know, one of the insiders um, exposing what all of the changes that we would be experiencing, they've all pretty much come true. So this was a transcript of Dr. Dunnigan, who in 1988 uh, had sat down with another person. They transcribed his recollections because he was an audience member of this talk by Richard Day in 1988. And, you know, that's what already changes had occurred in between 1969 and 1988. But a lot of what Dr. Day spoke of in 1969 hadn't occurred in 1988, but they have already now new world system um you look at the contents just look at the contents um people will have to get used to change people will have to get used to change isn't that interesting and all right um the real and the stated goals. Population control. Permission to have babies. Redirecting the purpose of sex. Contraception universally available to all. Sex education as a tool of world government. Tax-funded abortion as population control. Encouraging homosexuality. Technology. Families to diminish in importance euthanasia and the demise pill, limiting access to affordable medical care, um, planning the control over medicine, elimination of private doctors, new difficult to diagnose and untreatable diseases, suppressing cancer cures as a means of population control, inducing heart attacks as a form of assassination, education as a tool, for accelerating onset of puberty and evolution, blending all religions, the old religions will have to go, changing the Bible through revisions of keywords, the churches will help us, restructuring education as a tool of indoctrination, more time in schools, but they won't learn anything, controlling who has access to information, schools as the hub of the community, books would just disappear from 
the libraries changing laws, the encouragement of drug abuse to create jungle atmosphere, alcohol abuse, restriction on travel, the need for more jails, using hospitals as jails, no more security, no more security, crime used to manage society, curtailment of American industrial preeminence, shifting populations and economies, tearing the social roots, sports as a tool of social change, sex and violence inculcated through entertainment, travel restrictions, and implanted ID, food control, weather control. Know how people respond, making them do what you want. Falsified scientific research, terrorism, financial control, surveillance, implants, televisions that watch you, home ownership, a thing of the past, the arrival of the totalitarian global system. And that's the contents of Dr. Day's talk. And then the recollections of Dr. Dunnigan's, who is now, he's passed on, but um, it's all pretty much, you know, in 1988, who was talking about TVs watching you? All right. Everything's in place. Nobody can stop us now. And some of you will think I'm talking about communism. Well, what I'm talking about is much bigger than communism. At that time, he indicated that there is much more cooperation between East and West than most people realize. Yes, all these um, leaders working together, and what, what they tell us is not the truth. It's a lie. Oh, man. I so want to get out of the sickness. I so want to get out of this, what, what truly has just, it's become a madness that is descending quickly into hell. Most people don't understand how governments operate, and even people in high positions in governments, including our own, don't really understand how and where decisions are made. And, well, I think all of us can say that's absolutely true. Um, he quite accurately said they would be, there would be changes that would be very surprising and in some ways difficult for people to accept. People will have to get used to change. Those older folks will have a really hard time with all of the change and they will feel like it's their time to just go. People will have to get used to, to the idea of change, so used to change that they'll be expecting change. Nothing will be permanent. This often came out in the context of a society where people seem to have no roots or moorings but would be passively willing to accept change simply because it was all they had ever known. This was sort of in contrast to generations of people up until this time where certain things you just could expect. Reference points for your life. So change was to be brought about Change was to be anticipated and expected and accepted, no questions asked. Another comment that was made by Day, Dr. Day, people are too trusting, people don't ask the right questions. And sometimes it seemed that he equated trusting with dumb. We've got a dumb take over and it's getting dumber and dumber so the real and stated goals everything has two purposes one is the ostensible purpose which will make it acceptable to people 
and the second is the real purpose, which would further the goals of establishing the new system. So these changes, okay. Uh, I, I, how are you doing with them? Hate speech to protect animals. Hate speech to protect animals. Abstract. People study this crap. Laws against hate speech protect members of certain human group, groups. However, they do not offer protection to non-human animals. Using racist hate speech as our primary example, we explore the discrepancy between the legal response to hate speech targeting human groups and what might be called anti-animal or speciesist hate speech. I, look, I frankly think that, that this is a waste of money, but hey, that's my opinion. The changing of definitions. Just heard that they are changing the definition of racism to include the power dynamic. So, the whole idea of racism, you know, um, hating one group of people based on their race, now they're including the power dynamic because we're white well, non-white people can't be racist. White people are the racist people, and we apparently have all of the power, so they're including that in the definition now, which is odd because there are so many black Americans in positions of power today, so how does that work? They still can't be racist because they're black or they're brown. Okay, but uh, it's just white people who are racist. And we apparently have all of the power, but, but those black Americans who are in positions of power, I guess that's just a, I don't know, a, um, a mirage or something that we see. They have no power. Obama had no power. You know, his uh, attorney general had no power. All these mayors and police chiefs, and they have no power. Okay. So migration, irregular migration now. It's, this is the State Department. The State Department has decided it's not illegal migration. It's irregular migration. And um, I'm sorry, but these people in their power positions, they're certainly entitled, aren't they? They get to change everything. And, you know, uh, all right, so the Secretary of State, the Blinken, um, he gets to decide definitions now. Why are we allowing this? That's what I really, I really want to know. The answer to that. So it's irregular migration. It's no longer illegal. Well, it will always be illegal. Um, that, that's the definition. Uh, and you know, just change words and voila, you have something entirely different. This is how sick and twisted and dumb we are. Okay, what, see, I think these TikToks that people post, first of all, I understand that there's a lot of operatives. I understand that there are people who are getting paid and they post this crap, okay? But there's a lot of people who just post crap and they have um, no shame whatsoever. 
But the young who have already been indoctrinated are scary. They are scary. Now, um, I think parents have failed to do the job necessary. Hang on. Sorry, that was a tractor going by. All right. Um, or, you know, I very often think about, well, I know what they can do to individuals' brains. I know what they can do to the brains of those in a particular region or country. So, is this the effect of electromagnetic frequencies that has literally so dumbed down Americans that, it, you know, it seems to me that a whole lot of people have bought into what is clear on its face, uh, wrong, false, the obvious, staring people in the face, and yet they claim that we are such a racist nation and You know, I, this is heading in a direction that is really scary. Unless a white person says this, I guess nobody's going to fucking listen. I'm so sick of that. Black people should be able to talk and everybody listen. Like, uh, it's exhausting. Every white person is racist. We are taught in our systems, in our school systems, and in, in the government, everywhere. There's still so, like signs. There, there's still statues up of these fucking Southern Confederate leaders that black people have to stare at. So don't sit there and say the system isn't made racist. It is. And the and 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 if you're one of those people that are watching this, being like, "Well, I'm not racist." Fuck if you aren't. You're the motherfucker I'm talking to. Right, because I realized that I was built and raised in a racist system, and I'm educating myself to get out of it. That's what makes you a better fucking person, not denying the fact that it even happened. Get your shit together. Fuck. All right, a lot of TikToks are showing people like this, and I guess they feel quite um, entitled to... And maybe they think that they're intelligent. I don't know what it is, but um, uh, this is really, okay, so this person went through the school system. That's what she was taught. And, uh, well, she failed because mm, she said she's working her way out of it. She's working her way out of being a racist. Well, I'm sorry, you purple redhead thing. You can't because the racism in white people is permanent. So you can't work your way out of it. You will always be a racist, right? But these kids... To them, the 1960s is ancient history, just like it was when we were growing up as baby boomers in World War II. That was like ancient history. But one would hope that some adult might have, you know, uh, enlightened her about what this country was and what it became. But now we're going backwards. That's what really pisses me off. You know, listen to this nine-year-old, a nine-year-old talking to a school board.
be here again. The other day I was walking down the hallway at Lakeview Elementary School to give a teacher a retiring gift. I looked up onto the wall and saw a BLM poster and an Amanda Gorman poster. In case you don't know who that chick is, she's some girl who did a poem at Biden's so-called inauguration. I was so mad. I was told two weeks ago at this very meeting spot, no politics in school. I believed what you said at this meeting. So at lunch, I went up to my principal to tell him about the BLM poster and that I wanted it down. He said it's not coming down. I was like, yeah, it is, because the school board said on May 25th, no BLM or politics in school. He said, that's weird. They were the, one who, they were the ones who made them. I was stunned. When I was here two weeks ago, you told us to report any BLM in our schools. Apparently, you know they're in our schools because you made the signs. I said there should be no BLM in schools, period. It does not matter the color you make the posters and the font you use. We all understand the meaning. It is a political message about getting rid of police officers, rioting, burning buildings down while King Governor Welch just sits on his throne and watches. We all know. Changing the font or the color of posters does not change the meaning. I am nine years old and I know that. You expect me to believe that you did not know what you were doing by making these posters? Come on, people. I do not judge people by the color of their skin. I, I don't really care what color their hair, skin, or eyes is. I judge by the content or the way they treat me. MLK said, I have a dream that one day my four little children will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. That dream has come true. I do not care or look at the color of skin, but you make me think of it. I have Asian, Mexican, white, Chinese, black friends, and I don't care. I like them because some of them make me laugh, some are sweet and kind, sporty, or share the love of God. They are just my friends. You have lied to me, and I am very disappointed in all of you. You cannot even follow your own rules. If you're going to do that, why do we follow any rules we deemed unfit or ridiculous? I'm not following your mask rule anymore then. Get the posters out of our schools. Courage is contagious, so be courageous. Here again. The you know, some of these kids, man, are so impressive. And I think about myself at nine. Oh, wow. Okay. You lied. You lied to me. Nine-year-old telling the school board, you lied. They don't want this crap. A whole lot of them do not want the BLM in schools. They don't want to be activists. And that's where we're pushing them. This is child abuse. What is going on in our schools is child abuse. And if anybody comes across any of these TikToks or tweets or videos of these kids speaking out, please, please drop the link below. You know, because you know, mainstream media, the leftist mainstream media, that's what we have. We've got the right, we've got the left. And what mainstream media on the left is saying is that well, those parents just don't understand. They don't know what critical race theory is. There's an ignorance there. They're also claiming dark money is involved in getting all of these parents to speak at the school board meetings. Really? Dark money from, you know, uh, right organizations. Everything now, it's so clear, everything is either left or right. No, and I'm not either. There's an awful lot of people who are not on either team. There are people on the left who are against what's happening in these schools. But that's how they, you know, present the reporting to the American people, the right and the white are against critical race theory. You know, the lying in this country, it, it's truly, look, I've got my own personal beef with lying. 
and any of you, you know, triggered, I hate that word, but uh, by what is taking place today, the lying, the gaslighting, the the, uh, manipulation, the sick, twisted, mentally ill society that we have, you know, I mean, any of you really having a hard time with it? People are lunatics. I don't know what else to say. Got this comment and newsflash, he thinks you're a colonizer also. I got a newsflash for you. That's fine, I understand. I am a colonizer and I don't expect anyone to trust me when I'm wearing this skin color. I'm wearing the enemy's uniform. People who look like me have hurt everyone who doesn't for hundreds of years. So I think it's unreasonable for me to expect that kind of trust from anyone. I mean, I could work as hard as I can. I can read Malcolm X every day and I'm still going to make racist mistakes and hurt people I care about. And even if I don't hurt them, somebody else around me can weaponize my whiteness at any time and hurt more people. So, usually when people call me a colonizer, it's an invitation for me to reflect on my actions, and it's not hostile. And even if it is hostile, people have every right to be hostile, so I'm just going to be a good friend, and I'm going to be patient, and I'm going to understand. What do you do with this? <clears throat> what? Alright, TikTok is owned by China. So we have to wonder, you know, are... Okay, I would not want to be anywhere near this human being. Um, But do you actually think that she believes what she's saying? (sighs) Mayors, mayors. Once again, we, we have all of these mayor organizations for climate change, now reparations and equity. Mayors organize for repar- uh, reparations. Eric Garcetti. All right, Denver. We've got um, Tallahassee, St. Louis, Providence, Rhode Island, Austin, Texas, Asheville, North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, Kansas City, Sacramento, Stockton, St. Paul, all of these mayors are banding together because, yes, they believe reparations are in order. And they're, look, they don't care what you say. See, we got ourselves into this situation because we never held anybody accountable for anything that they do. They just stopped listening to the people and they're just going about just, you know, it's like the agendas. That's all that's important. The agenda. But if you notice all of the changes that are taking place here here white supremacy is the root of all race related violence in the u.s white people are we cause all of the violence like here don't follow me in the cellar, bro. Come on, come on, don't, come on. Don't disrespect me. I will show your ass, too. Don't follow me in the cellar, bro. 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 Hey, nah, don't, don't shoot her. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot her. 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 I'm sorry. I just can't watch. Okay. So, uh, it's white, it's white Americans who caused this black woman to attack the Asian American who 
was behind the counter. Look, I wish that this was a joke. It's not. It is not a joke. You know, amid the disturbing rise in attacks on Asian Americans since March 2020, uh, is a troubling category of these assaults. Black people are also attacking Asian Americans. White people are the main perpetrators of anti-Asian racism. Not true. That's not true. They make shit up. Okay, this is the world that we're living in now. They make crap up because it's the, the facts and evidence mean nothing to most people. That's why they're getting away with this. You know, they. <sighs> so they can say anything. And y you engage in debate, argument um, on. Well, critical race theory, uh, the 1619 Project, which its, it's, it's friggin' foundation is flawed. In 1619, they claim that the Revolutionary War was fought to maintain slavery, okay? But you try to engage in conversation, in debate, you know, and they just say things. You know, your opponent just says crap. And they say it, actually, with a confidence that I guess many people, because it's coming out of the mouth of somebody who appears confident that they just believe what they hear, this is madness. It's utter madness. So yes, it's right here. White supremacy caused this black woman to attack an Asian American behind the counter. Hey, it's that time of year again where white people can't wait to get really tan. And y Latinos también, bronceaditos, quemaditos. If you're a white person, you can't wait to get super tan and you can't say Black Lives Matter and you're not an ally and you can't stand for your black, brown, indigenous, people of color, friends and family, then do everyone a favor and tanning is not for you. So thank you. Okay, uh, this entitled white woman uh, claims that we can't sit in the sun because we're not allies. Um, we're not allies of, I guess, Black Lives Matter. No, I will never be an ally, and I will enjoy the sun. But these entitled, just, they're so, like, there's something so deranged happening. And you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're posting these videos because they feel like they're saying something um, profound or intelligent or something, or if they're getting paid by China. It doesn't matter because the mindset of both is not well, mentally ill, mentally ill. But hey, it's their world. I'm soon going to be gone. A whole lot of us are going to be gone. It's your world. Bring it in. You know, this is what you have to live. Look at this. University of Ottawa. Professor, sex work is the best thing young people can do early in their careers. Yeah, she took to Twitter to endorse sex work for young people. It's the best thing that you can do. And one organization committed to stopping human trafficking said that the treat, tweet, treat, the treat 
The tweet is deeply irresponsible. How friggin' sick do you have to be? These are professors. They should lose their jobs, but they don't. You know, girls summer camp partners with Planned Parenthood in program that promotes sexually explicit content to kids. Virginia, Roanoke. Girls rock Roanoke. Um, once they focused on playing musical instruments, writing songs, but now they're going to educate and empower hosted by Planned Parenthood. How are parents allowing this? Grades 6 through 12. And they'll receive $100, a $100 Visa gift card. These are the, um, yeah, the Teen Connection Virtual Summer Program. Campers and others who complete the program will receive a $100 Visa gift card and be identified as peer educators. Lefty parents don't have to be burdened anymore. This is what... <laughs> Robert Reich. So let me get this straight. Juneteenth is now a federal holiday, but laws are being enacted all across the country to keep people from learning about it. Really, Robert? Or is that just yet another abject lie? My God. Here, yeah. AOC, another sick and twisted person who, well, she's been, studies have shown she's one of the least effective congresspersons, congresswomen, congresspersons in Congress, least effective. But she gets on media, boy, doesn't she? This is what she said. This is pretty consistent with the Republican base whether it is trying to fight teaching basic history around racism, the role of racism in the United States history, you know, there is a direct, there is a direct through line from that to denying Juneteenth. Uh, it's consistent with the Republican base. I'm sorry, if we were a healthy people, none of this would be going on. None of it would be going on. Most riot looting cases from last year dropped by New York City DAs. Now, they're still arresting people for that January 6th riot, but they have dropped a lot of the cases, the Antifa cases, and the BLM rioters and looters, you can go free. Something wrong here? All right. I have more. I don't know. I, I, I literally feel like something happened. Just, I, I don't know, within like the last month for me that you know, I just feel like I'm not even sure what I'm doing anymore. I don't, you know, I, I like, what's the point? Real life shows me that, you know, most people really, you know, they're just doing what they need to do to, you know, survive for as long as they can survive. Um, I don't know, you know, I feel like the comments section has really turned into something very different. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, 
the idea of just watching the downfall, watching innocent people have to suffer consequences of all of the agendas, and um, this is not my idea of fun, all right? It's just not. I know that a lot of you identify with what I say, you know, but how, how do you do it when you're kind of alone in this? The real world, you know, has, has kind of disappeared, and I like the real world. I can't, the cyber world, this virtual world, and this is, this is the direction. They want everybody into the virtual world. And that will be the only world, eventually, it will be the only world that people n will know. Humanity is dying so fast. And I know, you know, that there's nothing, nothing I can do, nothing you can do. Not when we have most of our fellow Americans either doing nothing, not speaking up, you know, or they've just decided to go along, to get along, and they're just as crazy as what I've just shown, you know. It is so unbelievably Just everything feels toxic and there's no escape from it. I'm sick of it. I, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. You know, I, this is getting hard. No matter what, no matter what we do, no matter what I do, completely and utterly ineffective and it all of the agendas just continue to proceed <laughs>